Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Daily Word. Today is Wednesday, January 19th. Glad you could join me for our time together in our Daily Word. Um, we continue our journey together as we explore what Scripture means to us and how it might affect our lives and, and really how it might help us to live better from day to day, which really is, I think, the challenge that all of us find in our daily lives. So thanks for joining me as we continue this journey together in the month of January in this brand new year, 2022. You can see I'm at church this morning, uh, feeling a lot better today, finally getting over this crazy cold. Uh, I haven't had a cold in forever, and so to get a cold was kind of disappointing. I've been so careful, but anyway, it is what it is. So this morning's scripture uh, is from the book of Romans chapter 12, verses 21. Now, you might remember several days ago that we had the scripture that said, don't grow weary in doing the right thing, or don't grow weary in doing good. And we talked about what that means for us and, and how that helps us to live our lives if we don't grow weary. And sometimes it's hard you know, we, we try to do good, we try to be good, we try to do the right things, and it doesn't always come back at us in the right way or in the good way. And sometimes, you know, our good is ignored or it's repaid um, with evil or whatever it is. And so we struggle with that. And, and I know that's true because I struggle with it personally. And, and in conversations with other people, we struggle uh, with what that means to... To live in covenant with each other like that, to not grow weary in doing good, always trying to be on the side of good, always trying to be on the side of right, if you will. And so this scripture this morning um, speaks to us a little more about that. Romans 12, verse 21. Don't be, do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good. Now, I know that one of the most well-known verses in Scripture that we often refer to when things happen to us is an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And we also, I read a lot where people talk about karma, where if something bad happens to me and you've caused it, that karma is going to get you, that somehow the universe, um, because you've treated me wrong, somehow the universe has it out for you, and that karma is going to come and bite you in the backside. And so we just rely on karma. We, we often deal in the idea that retaliation makes the most sense, that we are allowed to do reciprocal harm. That if someone punches us, then we can punch them, if you will. And somehow, this whole idea, this eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth, um, has become for us a license for revenge in our world. Now, Jesus, you know, Jesus took it the other way. Jesus says, You've heard it said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, if someone needs your coat, give him your shirt as well. If someone needs a hat, give him your gloves as well. This is me paraphrasing. If someone's hungry, don't give, just give them a french fry, but give them your sandwich and your Coke as well. Jesus reminds us that we can indeed interact in the world without mirroring the bad things that are happening all around us. We don't have to return harm for harm. You know, we are often taught, our moms probably tell us this, that two wrongs don't make a right. And that's true. It's true for us, and it's true in what Scripture teaches us. Do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good. Now, what does that mean in our context? What does it mean 
as we live our lives in the midst of the world. I think what it means for us, not that we should just intentionally walk in harm's way, because I think that's, you know, that's absurd, of course. But there are things that happen all around us in our lives, things that happen to us, things that happen in our, the vicinity of our lives, things that happen in our neighborhoods and, and even in our families and our churches where we often respond was, I'm going to get them an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, or, you know, that we, we have a chance to reciprocate, that we can do reciprocal harm. And the scripture says to us that the best way that we overcome evil is with good. Remember that do not grow weary of doing good, of doing the right thing. I think in our lives, in our culture, in the way that we are called to live in these days, you know, I, I've said this before and we often, I often hear people say it, you know, we pine for the old days, you know, when when our moms just had to yell at us when the street lights came on or they whistled down the street at us or all the things that we used to do. I know I grew up like that too. You know, we, we rode our bikes. We knew where to go in certain places and we knew when to be home and all those things. Um, we, we pine for those things, but you know, it's really up to us. It's really up to us to make the culture the way that we want it to be. And we've gotten so used to the idea, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, karma, it'll get you, that we've lost sight of our personal responsibility to treat each other the right way, to, to overcome all the things in the world by doing good. So why can't, I can't do that myself. I, I agree, by ourselves sometimes it's hard, but I wonder what would happen, you know, if we locked arms and decided that we're going to overcome the things that, that we lament about and the things that say we say we want to go back to the old days. If we locked our arms and decided to overcome all of this with good by loving each other, by making sure nobody's hungry, by making sure that everyone has food to eat and a coat to wear and hats and mittens to wear and all those things. What if we what if we decided together instead of an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, reciprocal payback, what if we decided to live differently? It's really up to us to do those kind of things in our lives. We we misunderstand an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. It's, it's really not reciprocal violence. That was meant as a way to limit violence so that we can find ways to live together. And I think that's the real challenge for us, you know, in our culture. I frankly, you know, really have no interest in going backwards in culture, in life. I have no interest in, you know, we're not gonna recapture the old glory future and the future of how we live with each other depends on us. Depends on us overcoming evil with good. And evil, you know, evil could be lots of things, you know, but it depends on you. It depend, depends on me. If we're going to be disciples, if we're going to be apostles, if we're going to be people of the way, of those early followers, that's what they were called, people of the way, then it's up to us. It's up to us to overcome evil with good. And, you know, I think we can do that. I think we have to lock arms. I think we have to find ways. I think we have to brainstorm together. I think we have to sit down over a cup of coffee and, and find ways to find common ground with each other. And then when we do that, good bubbles up, you know, and it and it changes the world in amazing ways. I'm not naive. Look, I don't think it happens easily. I think it puts our feet to the fire, but we can do it. And I think that's what God calls us to, always in this scripture, not to grow weary of doing good or doing what is right, 
to not be overcome by evil, but overcoming evil with good. That's the challenge for us, my friends, I believe, as we are living in these days. Notice I've put flame to my Christ candle, this reminder of the presence of Christ in us through the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray that you will, you will um, think about ways that we could together overcome evil with good. Share it with me if it comes to you. Send me a note. Remind me. Um, challenge me how we could lock arms and do that together in our communities. So thanks for joining me. Know of God's love. Celebrate the beauty of this day in the middle of January. Know of God's grace and mercy that surrounds you. Know of my love for all of you. And I will see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Have a great day.